Hey, what's happening, everybody? The Job Guy's back with you again. That is Nick. This is Ryan. And we are recapping the latest trip to Saudi Arabia, WWE, back there in Riyadh for Crown Jewel. And Nick, uh, I got to say, this is definitely the best Crown Jewel they have ever done. I think it's their best show that they've done since they've gone overseas like this the past few years. Looks like the people that did watch it online, some people are still boycotting these shows, but the people that did watch it online absolutely love this show, Nick. Your thoughts just overall, man. For me, this is a thumbs up show, and I am shocked to say that. Two, sweet! 100% agreed. Uh, might be the best pay-per-view of the year in all of pro wrestling. And I, I, all of, not WWE, all of pro wrestling. Wow. Um, I, my big concern, my, own, my biggest gripe is the dang things on at 12. Right. And I, I'm working. I, shut, I literally shut my phone off because I've got apps and things that are updating me on wrestling and uh, events and things that transpire throughout the day. So I'm shutting it off. I'm all psyched to get home turn it on bam it's the girls triple threat match and i'm like oh crap crap i can't rewind i can't start from the beginning this just sucks so anyway i watched the remainder of the pay-per-view got back um and then had to wait another yeah. i think i was texting back with you had to wait another half hour to an At hour least. somewhere in there to get, for them to get it up but once it got going it was worth the wait. It was awesome. It was great. I can't say enough about it. Was it perfect? No, but I liked it a lot, Ryan. Yeah, I I totally agree. And thus, the peacock sucks there behind you there. Um, yeah, I'm glad I got to watch it right away so I could watch it live as it was happening. But I, I agree with you. This is the best WWE pay-per-view I can remember in quite a long time. Definitely the best of 2001 and i agree as we will talk about later 2021 20, excuse me yeah what i say 2001 <laughs> it might be better than 17 it i'd have to think be. <laughs> is it better than 17 what am i 12 okay so uh yeah 2021 um definitely the best show i think and i think you can make the argument it's the best show all year long now there's going to be people out there instantaneously flushing that comment down the toilet. The only argument I would say for maybe a WrestleMania or All Out or something like that, there was nothing that really happened. There was no like title change where you were going, oh my gosh, whoever won the belts. There wasn't anything like that because we thought this was a glorified house show. But man, it was good. Every single match, even the ones I did not care one ounce about going into this, I thought were pretty good. And if they weren't great, they weren't very long. So I thought it was a great show, man. And I'm not typically a guy who's all about the wrestling. I'm more about the storylines and whatnot. I thought it was good, dude. Starting right out of the top, they kicked this thing into high gear with Seth and Edge Hell in a cell. They go 27 minutes. And Nick, for me, this is a match of the year candidate. Oh, I thought it was awesome, man. Um, it, you're 100%. I think this whole feud, um, I've enjoyed it. I think people have think they fight more than they have. This was literally the only the third time they've been in this. Right. And I like the comparison of the two. This guy won a rumble. This guy cashed in. This guy did this. I thought this was actually a real feud, which we don't always see on all the channels. Um, it, the chain on the foot. Yeah. How cool. How, he, wasn't he it? He wraps a chain link around his foot. Take Took a minute to happen, and then a super kick to edge his face. And it was a live round, it, too. Have we seen the chain on the foot before? That's the one it, I was trying. I don't. It's been Maybe, a minute if we have. If we ha it's been long enough that it can be reused. Uh, we'll say that, right? And uh, great match. Proved you can have a crazy, insane, no-holds-barred, death, 
hell of a cell match without one of the guys actually getting really seriously hurt. If the guys, you know, kind of know how to work, know how to wrestle. Um, absolutely awesome. Seth, how about Seth off the ter- top turnbuckle into the cage through the table? One Was of the that- best bumps I've ever seen. And he hit it perfectly. I, I mean, it looked great, and he didn't get seriously hurt. Yep, yep. I, I thought everything you just said, I, I, you know, it, it seemed like it may have been longer, only three matches because they've been feuding since WrestleMania, but then Edge took some time off. Edge did his Roman thing for a little bit, so then they came back to this match. So, yeah, it does seem a little bit longer. But here's, I'm going to say, I have not been big into this feud lately. Seth, for me, has been fast forward, this new character. The, I, and I love Seth. I have always loved Seth. When the Shield was together, everybody out here has heard me say it before. I said Seth's going to be the star, not Ambrose, not Reigns. Seth was the guy from the get-go. I have not liked this character at all. So I've been fast forwarding through that. That said, this is one of the best Hell in a Cells I have ever seen. I will say it is better than that other cage match that happened at All Out because this one wasn't just moves, even though there were cool moves like you just mentioned. Um, They were moves we have absolutely never seen. I'm telling you, when he knocked him off the top rope, bounced off the cage and fell through, and he didn't just straight flat back it either. He kind of hit it crooked so it looked like it was nasty, dude. That was awesome. This whole match was so good. Um, And then Edge ends up winning. The only thing that wasn't good about this was the stomp at the end. His foot kind of grazed off his head. Um, I wish they wouldn't have replayed that angle of it at the end. But other than that, amazing. Edge, man, he is over everywhere. Since he's come back, the crowds have just been crazy for him. They're crazy here. They were crazy all night. For the, This crowd was as hot as can get. I think they're hotter than any of the other crown jewels or other Saudi shows that we've had. They were amazing. They were amazing during this match. And they Edge weren't wins. annoying. They, were, like, oh. they, were, they didn't do any. They were, they, I thought that same thing. This was a great audience. They, they were awesome. You know, yep. the, the, this was awesome chance actually occurred when stuff was awesome right i i I, crazy you know (laughs) i i mean it it was it was they were wonderful yeah they were awesome from the get-go edge wins he's kind of crying there at the end um i'll bet you he he was down there talking to edge for a second i was gonna say that i bet you dollars to dimes it was some sort of thank you yeah because this was a you look at their summer slam match with i which i loved their SmackDown match, which I think was really good too. These have been, it might not be the best story feud, although it was an, I, I didn't mind it. I liked it. Yeah. These were three really good matches. That's how you write a feud and wrestle a feud. You may, I'm not saying the feud's amazing or anything. Not everyone's going to be. This was a good, but you, the matches made up for it. This was awesome. Well, and the feud made sense. I, I just did. don't like Seth's character. Edge I'm has so been amazing on the I love mic. Seth. He has yes. been amazing on the mic. Uh, yeah, this was good. And I think, yeah, he did. He said something like maybe The Rock there when he fought Austin at 19 the last time. Kind of whispered something in his ear. And then he I got so. up and he had he was tearing up a little bit, man. Uh, he knows he put on a heck of a feud what? here. I'm hoping, I'm hoping the last match in Edge's WWE career – is a flip. I want to see Edge go out as the the heel rated our superstar. Maybe let's get one more time with Seth Rollins, though, but Seth is the face at that point. All right. Well, then we get into Ali and Mansoor. I'll be honest, this is not a feud or anything I've been interested in whatsoever. Um, really good match, though. Great match. You knew Mansoor was going to win again at home. I think he's 4-0 in his hometown now. But, man, this match was great. It's a shame we're not doing something with these guys because I'll say the Mansoor guy can work like crazy. Ali, I think, can work and talk. It just sucks that he's identified with retribution. I think that 
it's I still see him as this leader of a failed jobber group, and they've yeah. never really gotten me, as far as I see him, away from that. So it's really hard to develop his character. And I love this tonight, what they did with the karate silver yeah. medalist. What a great plug, especially following what – who would want to follow that freaking hell in the cell match, right? You know, that was a tough one. These guys come on, put a great match, and then they do that plug for the hometown at the yep. end with the karate uh, silver medalist. I, I liked everything about this match as far as I could care about it. I, I, I just wasn't big on it going in because they haven't developed either character enough for me to care. Yeah, they're kind of just an afterthought. So I felt the same way. Uh, Mansoor does win. After Ali misses a 450, lands on his stomach, uh, Mansoor rolled out, then came over the top rope with like a swinging neck breaker coming through the middle of the ropes. Thought it was a cool finish. I liked it. The place, again, is going nuts. Um, man, I thought it was great. I thought it was great. Absolutely. So here we go now into the tag team uh, Raw tag title match. RK Bro against AJ Styles. And and almost now, I saw this earlier in the night. I don't know if you noticed Nick right before. I think it was when Seth and and Edge came out. They took kind of a wide side shot of the stage, and there's just a bunch of camels sitting there. I don't know if you saw that or not. I did not. I did <laughs> right not. at the beginning. All of a sudden, there's just three camels sitting there looking nice. around. You're like, what? Nice. All right. Well, there's some camels. Okay. So anyway. They come out. AJ gets a massive pop again. This crowd is on fire. RK Bro comes out. All of a sudden, Bro just leaves. Leaves, leaves Orton hanging. And he comes out on a camel. A camel. So awesome. Almost Bobby Heenan, WrestleMania 9 style, except he was facing the right way. He should have turned around just to totally redo the Heenan. That would have been cool. Anyway, um, another fun match. Good yeah. match. Surprisingly short, I thought, but uh, our a uh, bro is your winner. I'm loving the whole thing still. They're doing it right. It's going slow. I'm still pushing for Riddle Orton at Mania. Riddle as the heel. It's got to be him that turns. But, I mean, Randy Face is moving perfectly. Week by week, he's starting to get a little bit closer to um, – Riddle starting to be, you know, show maybe a little bit more care for him. Um, and I love the face that Randy's pulling off. He hasn't went the full clown face, but he's 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 not overly good, but he's definitely a face, if that makes sense. Like you can see that he's he's trying to embrace Riddle. This is this could be really great if they break up the right way and Riddle. This could be huge for Riddle's career. I really think it could be. Uh, that next step. Because I don't think Riddle on this, and I could be wrong, I don't think Riddle with this gimmick that he using, you, the bro gimmick, can make it out of mid-card status to, to carry a WWE It's got to have an edge to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd love to see that. Um, they win it, RKO, as AJ comes off the rope to hit the phenomenal forearm. He gets caught. Then the floating bro from the top is what Great wins it. Move. What do we see going forward for those guys now? Because this is another feud that's been going on for quite a while, even though they've only fought two or three times, but they fight so many times on Raw, one guy against the other guy or that right. guy against this guy. So it, it seems like we've seen this forever. Hopefully this is the end of it. Right. Um, but what next for these guys? What, what, any uh, which ones? Where they're go? Any, all four of them? Or well, just, yeah. Well, yeah. Because I don't know. Four of them? Yeah, because AJ... AJ seems de like he is determined. The fans are determined to keep cheering him as bad as the WWE treats him. I mean, they job this guy. He loses I don't all the time. But, I mean, he gets still popped everywhere he goes, man. Um, and I still like him. I love seeing Asia. I don't know what they're doing with him. I still don't think Omos or Omos is, is good enough to go on his own. It's not ready. Uh, um, yeah, so I but, – but I also feel like this AJ – Omos thing is kind of wearing to the end. Like, what do you do with it? I'm confused right there. I don't know. You you have any ideas where they take these two? No. I mean, I, obviously, the logical thing there is to also break them up and maybe Omos is sick of AJ losing all the time because AJ constantly loses. Omos obviously hasn't lost yet. Right. You know, maybe he gets mad and ditches him. 
I'm not sure. And our, as for RK, bro, I mean, there's so few tag teams and the tag teams they do have other than the Street Profits who they're talking about breaking up because the one guy is so good. Um, there's nobody at anybody's level right now. You know, it, it, in all categories, the, every champion, whoever it is, world champion, women's champion, tag champions, the champs are so much higher than everybody else on the card. I don't know where they go. I have right. no idea, man. Well, and I, I can't at- remember. The other thing is, I don't know who's on what show. Because right. they did the draft two weeks ago, yet everybody's still on every yeah, all, show. Oh, I, and guess what? Survivor Series is coming up. And so everybody is still going to be on every show. And I don't know right. who's on Raw or SmackDown. It's a, it's a good point about the champions because you saw in the opening the Usos versus the Hurt Lot business or whatever. Yeah, her business. I, I, it, anybody think they had a chance? I, I mean, it, it's... Who they brought it, back with no explanation whatsoever. Yeah. And it's the just a terrible hurt business right now. But yeah, I, the Usos are so far ahead. You're right, RK Bro, so far ahead. Like, what do you? I mean, it seems if you had one roster or just one tag team title belt, this would be almost a WrestleMania collision type. I mean, obviously, I've already said I want Riddle and Norton, but it'd be a big match between those two. But they're on separate shows, so I, I mean, I and I guess one of them is going to take a fall at Survivor Series, though. Right. I don't like I don't like that idea that they're both champs and one of them rides out of there with the belts but a loser. But. Right. No, I never do. Never do. Okay, so then we got the Queen's crown, first time ever. Uh, a couple of surprises in this final mm-hmm. uh, with Zelina against Dewdrop. I don't think anybody on earth selected those two to be in the final of this. Uh, They go six minutes, which is by far the longest match of the tournament, which everybody online would not let you forget that all these matches have been incredibly short. Anyway, they come down. Zelina wins with a code red, probably the least interesting and worst match of the night, but I think the right person won. Uh, This girl, man, since she's shown up on TV, I think she can talk. I think she can wrestle. She's very small, but I think she's talented. And hopefully this is the start of something for Zelina who wins it with the code red. Yeah, because she's been basically a jobber, right, up until this point. I I mean, 13 in a row until the tournament, and then she wins out in the tournament. Well, then let's go and let's hope it's not 50-50 booking either. This girl needs to run for a little bit. Um I thought the match was not very – I'm with you. It wasn't a great match. Dewdrop is terrible. Uh, I, I'm sorry. This thing – if you wanted a powerhouse woman, you got Nia Jax. I, I'm sorry. I don't see what everybody else sees as the issue with Nia, man. They, I think she's been booked wrong since she arrived. She should have been booked as a monster since day one and had very few losses, but pretty much everybody has a W over Nia at this point. Um I don't know. I don't see what anybody sees in Dewdrop. This they reboot Eve Marie, Eva Marie, who I think there is something there. Contrary to I know a lot of online people that I, I know she's not the greatest in the ring, but neither is Dewdrop. Either is Liv Morgan. Either is Anna J. Either is yeah. go down the list of everybody you like, but you hate this girl. Right. I I would have rather seen Eva Marie versus. Selena in this final um because I I don't know I think Eva Marie is just more usable much much more sellable much more marketable um well and, I, and maybe maybe Drew Drop would be better if the, it's I the mean, gimmick what, what's yeah the gimmick? it's terrible right. maybe I'm not saying she can't be used in the industry of pro wrestling I mean she who knows what you could do with this gimmick's awful yeah yeah and and most people will say that that Piper Nevin or Niven whatever her name was I didn't see it I don't watch I NXT either. UK. Um, they swear by that, and okay. they say it was great. Now, I'm sure if that's it's the than case. This. Well, yeah, anything would be better than this. Uh, yeah. You know, anything. Those old school karate fighters fighting each other would be better than watching this dude drop gimmick. Zelina's your winner. She's the first ever champ. Queen. I'm excited for. I'm excited. I hope they push her. All right. So here we go. One of the. Bigger matches of this card. One of the more polarizing matches on this card. 
Mr. Saudi Arabia, Goldberg, <laughs> taking on Lashley. Hmm? For all the junk I heard about how bad Goldberg is in Botchberg and Oldberg and all of this stuff, this dude put on a pretty darn good match, I thought, especially for a 50-whatever-year-old he is. He beats Lashley with a spear off the stage through a couple tables for the win. Um, maybe it's because there were no expectations here, Nick, but I thought this match was good, dude. You have to stay within guys' limitations. Goldberg is how old? Ryan? 50 at least three, okay. if not like six. And, and he's never been a 15-minute match guy. That's never been the way he was booked, trained, worked, whatever. You know, you have to work guys within their limitations. Otherwise, you get Chris Jericho at Juventud Guerrera. You know, and, and nobody <laughs> wants to watch that. Look at you, uh, giant uh, idiot. Uh, uh, so yeah. I, I, I thought this match was pretty good for what you got, right? I mean, yep. he did what he could. It was different. Everybody, I said this at SummerSlam too. Was it a great match? No. But everybody kept complaining we're getting the same match with Bill Goldberg. So what do they do? They listen to everybody and try to switch it up some. No, you WWE know? doesn't listen to anybody. Well, the last two Goldberg matches never. have not been standard Goldberg matches versus Bobby Lashley. Even... I, there's nobody that can tell me SummerSlam's match, when you watch it from bell to bell, went as you predicted it would go. There's nobody that can tell me this match, when it was, when it was done, went from bell to bell, went how you predicted it was going to go. The, the, it was, was it great as a five-star? No, but it was real interesting, I thought, and the finish was freaking awesome. I just wish it would have been out of nowhere. I thought yeah. Bobby should have dominated the match a little bit. My biggest complaint about this match was that Goldberg was kind of playing with him at the end. It seemed like I didn't yeah. like the hurt locker or hurt locker, hurt business, whatever they are, came out. Even with a two, three on one advantage, Lashley still got beat up by this guy. I, I thought it would have been better, man, if Lashley had handled him for a while and then out of nowhere, boom, spear down to the ground. L Goldberg gets the win. Goldberg could have beat him up for a while, but I just wouldn't have had him own him like that but it, it I, wasn't a bad match I, I think that's what they were worried people complain about though because that is what happened in this match he's killing him in the knee the entire time then he takes the chair wraps it around his leg jumps off the top rope on the injured knee from SummerSlam when they stopped the match and then he did spear him out of nowhere then jackhammered him but he didn't go for the pin, takes off right. the hand wraps, which why did he take the hand wraps off? That it, but anyway, I know what they were trying to say there. But he kind of did that, and I think they thought people would get ticked if that was just the end of the match. They'd go, typical Goldberg, typical Goldberg. So then he did toy with him. But the problem with him toying with him is he's walking all over the place. He's kind of selling the knee, but then he's not, and then he is, then he isn't. And here he is with one leg, allegedly, and he can't beat up three guys. That would be the complaint here. But I thought it was, for what it was, it was fun. It's it what was. it should have been. It kind of reminiscent of a Goldberg, not because there were weapons in this, but a Goldberg-Lesnar match that they had or a Goldberg-Strowman match where it's just power moves and, and he's hitting just stuff I like just, that. Don't you worry about Lashley a little bit now, though? Oh, I totally I do. I have though. I, That's the I, other. I mean, thing. it seems like this. What we're la we're 2019 Lashley again. He yeah, has um, not won a match in a while. Yeah, I. This guy was my favorite guy around this time last year because he was. I think he was at that IC point, wasn't he? Where he was had the IC title heading in. He was going to lose it at the Rumble and that triple threat, and Shoot, then go six on to months win. ago. You loved him. Yeah, I, I. Yes, I did. I cheered. I wanted him to win at Mania. I, I've. They're killing this guy. Uh, they, I don't know, maybe he needs, maybe he needs to go away for a little bit, maybe just even a month or two. Um, but I, I don't know if with the star power, can they do that? Um, 
but yeah, that was my that's my really big complaint on this. I wish Lashley would have looked a little better in this match. My complaint, if you're gonna have this guy keep losing, which is what he's doing all the time, you brought the hurt business back at Raw against Big E just out of the blue Nowhere. in that cage match for no reason. Then there was never any explanation or anything. They're just kind of there. You don't know what's going on. MVP's been gone. We don't know with what's no going with him. no explanation there sick either. Or what, which makes me think he's sick. But he, this, if you're going to have him lose a ton, why do you bring back – what good did the Hurt Business do this guy? In the cage match, he, he still lost when they showed up and they interfered. And now today, they showed up, interfered, and they just got dealt on. By so the they didn't Usos. do him any yeah. good. So you have Lashley maybe lose a couple times. Oh, and guess what? Monday on Raw, guess who's back to get his juice back? Here comes the hurt business. Now Lashley's, oh, I got my swagger back. I got my boys back. Here we go. Now he has lost his matches, but now he's somewhat rebuilt. I don't know what they my, were thinking there. My guess is... If this is the plan, that they're assuming MVP is going to be all good and he's going to come back and be the glue, maybe that, that guys, be. you know, I'm here, you know, you guys have looked like crap, I'm going to get this, but they got to go on a run. These guys well, got it. Maybe, okay. maybe they start at the bottom and maybe these are the two that RK Bro loses the tag titles to when they, if they break up near WrestleMania. The problem is they have already done the – you lost your focus. I'm going back to hurting people thing. And then he's just lost yep. a bunch again. Like, so they already did that. I got to get my. Uh, I don't uh, know what else you do though. Then how do you, yeah. I mean, do you just break up the hurt business and pretend like they never got back together? Or do you work? <laughs> I don't, know. I, I don't I, that's what I'm just so confused what they do with Bobby now. I, I, and I think this guy is awesome. I think he can really be used, man, because I, you know, I'm a, I'm a fan of these guys. This guy could have wrestled in the 80s. He uh, needs you know. to be used. That's the problem because, again, we got the yeah. title guys and then who? Drew, eh, eh, Lashley, eh. They have been both. They've lost so much. They've been so minimalized. There's no other champions or no other people for the champions to fight. I, it, I don't know. What's Big E going to fight Rollins now? Like, I, yeah. Who's he going to fight? I don't know. Yes. Yeah, I would say so, yes. Jumping into the king of the ring. Um, Balor comes out, decent pop. Woods comes out, not really any pop for one of the first times all night. The crowd kind of just like, hey, there's that guy. Yeah. Well, it was reportedly Woods' idea to bring this back. He wanted, he wanted to be the king real bad. He thinks that can take his character to the next level because of, you know, how animated and everything he is. He thinks he can really play this up. So everybody said it was kind of his idea for this to happen. Well, here you go. He got it. Woods walks down the ropes, drops an elbow on Finn Balor. Xavier Woods, of all people, is your king of the ring. A little surprised by this just because that's not a guy I figured, you know, Kofi was up here, Big E's up here. Nobody ever really thought of Woods on that level, getting a big singles push. Nick, he looks like he may be getting it a little bit. Yeah, I, and by the sound of it, did you hear him speaking? It seems like we might be seeing heel he, Xavier Woods. I wrote the same thing down. You cut the camera when I say cut say the cut camera. You. Ryan, we're not going to get it, are we? I was waiting. I was waiting for Kofi when he put that crown on to just come out, smash him in the back. Big E has gone on and won the WWE title. Kofi, I, I, Xavier is now skyrocketing and getting the king of the ring and being the king. My career, the best days have gone behind me, seemingly. And you guys, and jealousy, jealous Kofi. I wanted to see a heel, but I don't think, I, I think, if these guys break up, I think Xavier is going to be the heel and Kofi is going to be the face. The only argument against that would be, and maybe it's just because they only flew people there who were wrestling on this card. Who's always there every time one of the New Day members do something? The other two guys. Yeah. When Kofi won the belt, 
here comes Big E. Here comes Co uh, Woods. When Big E won the belt, here comes Kofi. Here comes – who wasn't there today? Kofi. Who wasn't there? Let's hope. Let's hope. I, I hope I, so, but I, I, I wrote the same I, I, thing you did. I, he started yelling, you acknowledge me. I'm the king now. I'm the I, real I think, prince. I do, like, think, oh. I do think Xavier is talented enough because mm -hmm. he can speak to yeah. pull the face. He's funny. If you've watched him on the New Day, he can be funny. He's up on current events. He's up on daily things. He knows how to, to, to send a zinger in someone's direction, and he can do it as a face. He would be okay as a face, but I, I just, we've never seen Kofi as a bad guy. I've never seen it, and I really like Kofi. I just want to see it. Yeah, no, I agree. I think it'd be better if he was. I think Woods can pull off the annoying King mm -hmm. thing, but yeah. that's the problem there is we've seen that a million times. We just got done seeing it with Baron Corbin. I'm right. the king. I'm great. <laughs> like, who cares, man? You got yeah. you got a you got like a Burger King crown on your head, or you got that and, Halloween USA. And he'll do better. He'll do better with it than Corbin would. But oh, you know, you're, you're saying that you're right. It's been a while since we've seen a good king. Yeah, you know, somebody who who could pull off face king. Um, and we're gonna see it with the queen too. We're gonna see bad guy queen, right? Because Zelina is gonna be a heel. So I don't want to see that on both channels where they're right. doing the same exact thing. I agree. It, Shinsuke was a king, but he, nah, was he, he didn't, he didn't do anything. Say, yeah, he just <laughs> yeah. came out and the guy played a guitar and he danced. Right. Yeah, he the doesn't talk. Thing. So no. that brings up the other guy from the New Day, Big E, taking on Drew for the WWE title. Thought this was a very good match. It was mm. one I was not happy with going in, though. Because, as we mentioned with Lashley, Drew is another guy who just keeps losing. And they need to, you know, they, 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 he, he has fallen so far in the past year because he keeps losing. The other thing is he's going to SmackDown. Big E just won this belt. He is not taking this belt over to SmackDown. So I thought that was weird. All of that said, I thought this was a very good match. Tilt a whirl. Big ending. Scott Steiner style to win this. The crowd again, freaking electric all through this match. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. And I said that the, the threat of the WWE and Universal title going to the same show is dumb. I, I mean, they, they should have champions. Just super simple. You have this paper. You have the draft so far ahead. Just champions can't be drafted on this show. Whoever wins this match is the Raw champion, loser goes to SmackDown. Sounds a lot better, doesn't it? I, I yeah. mean, I think, than just knowing that he's going to SmackDown, he might take the belt with him so Raw wouldn't have a world title. I, I mean, on what planet that's going to happen? But the match was really good for these two guys. I, I enjoyed it. The right guy did. Big E can't lose. Same as you. I, what do you do with Drew? Yeah, what, well, he's going to go to SmackDown and – we they don't know treat who Roman's like going to fight right away. They treat but, this like he's leaving a territory, though. Right. Yeah, like, they I mean, job like, him like, out before he goes. Like, like, other people, I'm watching both shows, man. Like, it's not, I, I, I don't, it's just I dumb. don't get it. Yes. It's just dumb. But this was a very good match. I just wonder about Drew because too. we're going to get Roman against Big E, probably a Survivor Series, assume they're doing the, like they always oh. do. And then maybe Drew after that, I don't I know, assume. but that'll be another loss because he's not going to beat Roman. So, I mean, I don't know. Yep. Women's uh, SmackDown title, triple threat, Becky, Bianca, Sasha. Becky comes in the champ. Um, Becky retains after a uh, cradle where she's holding the ropes at the end. Good I finish. thought this match was awesome. It was. A great I thought match. this match was incredible. Just before you go here, though, huge reaction um, for Becky when she came out first. Massive reaction. The Becky chants just start. I mean, they're trying to make this girl heal, and I think she's doing a good job as a heel. She's awesome. But, but she freaking – she's not a heel, man. <laughs> like, people want to cheer this girl. The, the, it's 19, you know, 98, and they're like, we're going to turn Austin. Yes. Like, you can't. 
Like, what are you doing? They like, tried the, an one and it didn't yeah, work. It didn't work. <laughs> it's, it's just, I mean, it, it's Austin did the same thing. That when he was doing the what, not when people were doing the what. When he was, he did do a good job as a heel when him and Kurt Angle and Vince, mm-hmm. I thought that was funny. Yeah. But it too. didn't work because they won't boo him. They're not booing this girl. Like no. I, And I, I heard it was her idea to come back as the heel. She wanted to do the heel. I heard that too. I, I, I don't know what's all true or not, but even whoever's idea it was, the other side should have said, no, nope, you're an <laughs> idiot. Now go do your thing. You big dummy. That, and this is the biggest reaction she's gotten since she came back at SummerSlam. It was just massive. And again, they only get to see these people once a year. So, and they haven't seen them since the pandemic. So, of course, they're going to be excited. But she's a heel. And they are cheering like crazy. Um, Nick, a couple of spots, all from Bianca. Well, first of all, there was more than that. But the Bianca spots, again, you and I have said this every single show. This girl is incredible, dude. The freaking one-handed press slam that she did and she just holds up and then smiles at everybody while she's doing it i mean this was like steiner stuff right here yes, man big pop of pump this girl is a freak and i love it dude it's awesome and, she and is so good down the road ryan you may have just hit something if this if you get to a point where she what do we do with this girl big freaking pop a pumper <laughs> let her tell let her tell these people how much better she is you know when she her peaks and her freaks you know and yeah. stuff like that maybe that's i mean because my only thing on this again is where do you go with the girls like what do you do with bianca now what what, what does she do does well, she go after charlotte I well assume? they well yeah because they did she the opposite SmackDown? they did the opposite of what we just talked about both champions switched shows I'm sure they're so going to switch So now Charlotte's belt. on. Yeah, like remember last year mm-hmm. with the tag titles? They just yep. looked at them and went, here you go, uh, I trade. Uh, yeah. It's just dumb. Or they could be combining it, which I highly doubt they're doing. But they could because guess who's going to face each other at Survivor Series? Champion and champion. I would love them to get rid of the belt. I would run, love them to have – because it would, and again, it would One make – One title. Being that you have less women – on your show it would be smart to just have one women's champion but yeah doubt that's going to happen nick there were some other awesome spots in this match though at the beginning they did a thing where um there was like a monkey flip where sasha flipped off the rope into what looked to be a power bomb but then sasha hurricane ronda bianca out of it into a spear into the corner i mean there were some cool spots here dude these women this match was and it, let's not forget how hard it is to do a triple threat I mean, because there's always someone who might come in too early not be set right away right at the right point it's really hard to do these when so, there's that third wheel that you're making sure doesn't look awkward they did a freaking phenomenal job of the flow of this match too i thought it was great yeah i thought this match it to me it was the women's match of the year um, I know you're going to hear a lot of people say Thunder Rosa and Britt Baker. I mean, to me, yeah, it was cool to see women do that because we haven't necessarily ever seen that, but they just did like every Mick Foley spot over and over again, whatever. Um, it's, not for, it's not for me. This match was sweet, I thought. Um, another thing, I'm not big on – my only complaint, as everybody knows with Bianca, is the hair. Kind of – I don't like skipping around. I just think it looks – dumb i i hope i was setting happy up. what they did here what they did here they did some moves with the hair that was awesome i think at some point they've got to be setting up for because her hair is yes her hair has almost become as big as her and i mean that as a compliment like she's tied to that that's yeah. her kind of gimmick yeah and i think at some point someone I hope they do it correctly because this is only a one-time thing, right? <laughs> well, it's going to take her 10 years to grow all of that back out, Nick. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, here's a – but it'll be an insult, right? It'll be totally crusher or whatever, just an insult to this woman. And I hope – I hope they do it well when, if someone does take – and I hope it doesn't take for it because I, I think it's getting to the time where this girl – she doesn't need it. 
Like, she is absolutely a beast in that ring. Mm-hmm. I, uh, I want to accentuate her power, man. Like, just keep pushing her with that. She is a monster. And the I next time it. she gets that belt, me too. I think she could be one of the best things on the show. Just next time she gets that belt, she doesn't lose it for a while. I, I, I already think she is, to be honest, man. I think she's great. Now, Me too. to cut her hair down the road whenever that is, do we uh, have Brutus come out and teach Eva Marie how to cut hair? God. And then Every that's who, is that how we, hate, is that how we do it? <laughs> The two most hated people ever, yeah. apparently. Yeah, apparently Brutus was the absolute worst wrestler ever, I guess. Yeah, he was most never people, over. Yeah, they must have slept through 1988 through 90, I guess. But anyway. Everybody's um, main event at SummerSlam, right? He has. Yep. And he was going to win the belt twice. But, uh, you know. <laughs> I love Brutus. The most... Yeah. The Good most luck. over person on the internet is the person that need him in the face. Apparently, that's who oh. you know. That's probably the most over person there is. But okay, let's let's get, we, you know, let's go Bianca though. Honestly, one more time. I, yeah. I I think this girl. I did not think she would be this awesome when she first started. I, I she's got a bright future if they don't freaking ruin her. I know, dude. Well, and they already it's, took a major step backwards. At yeah, they slant, did. But good um, luck. Yeah, it's awesome. I think she's great, dude. And this this match was awesome. I mean, it, I, to me, it's neck and neck with that cage match. I mean, the cage match was better, but this was right there, man. Awesome. It was good. Okay, All last one. Work. We normally start with the main event. We didn't today because there were so many other good matches, including the first match. We go Roman Brock. Awesome. Huge pop again for both of these guys. Yeah. I looked at my watch. 3.45 is what time it was here in the East Coast. 3.45. And I'm like, this thing has been on for three hours and 45 minutes? What? This is right before this match started. This match was just hard-hitting, nonstop, boom, boom, boom. Now, you knew there'd be interference here because I don't think this is the last time they're no. fighting. No. That said... I didn't necessarily just like the Usos kicking them and then a new referee. I didn't necessarily like that. But all of that said, up until the very end, I thought this match was awesome. By far the best Brock Roman match ever. The only problem is, right, I had one problem. The ref. Why didn't they pull? Heyman should have seen that, like, okay, Roman won this confrontation. He should have picked the ref up. Or maybe the Usos. I didn't like it because when Brock goes for a cover, the ref is out. And no ref comes. Right. No ref comes. This is the problem. And then this other ref, who obviously saw the Usos interfere, comes down there and makes the three count. I hate the ref. Other than that, the match is awesome. Could that ref have been bought off? Maybe. There it is. Or he wasn't. In the right room, TV room or something in the back. I don't. <laughs> yeah. <know. laughs> yeah, well, I was going to the bathroom. I missed. Yeah. Dude, I, Ryan Roman Reigns. I wrote most interesting feud in all of pro wrestling right now. Roman and Brock going no into this. This, the, this was the. I'm sorry. The best top most over wrestler in the world is Roman Reigns right now. I, I, I'm sorry. He may be a little stale, but I'm sorry. At least he's wrestling top notch guys. Not jobbers i i i i mean that's you know i'm not saying the other guy that came back recently it was big it was huge i don't know check the brock lesnar brock lesnar roman is fighting top tier talent this is a cool angle we've never seen face um brock versus heel roman roman has the title lesnar who's i'm not lesnar Heyman. whose side is he on um i i and it got a finish, too. I got scared. I don't know if you noticed, Michael Cole mentions a few minutes in, this match is a regular match. It's got countouts and DQs. And I'm like, son of a, you know, I'm thinking they're going to end it that way. I don't, I don't want to hear this match was all punches and kicks. It was. So was Daniel Bryan and Suzuki. You know, <laughs> I, I, I mean, it, 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 but that was the greatest match. And this match is just terrible. I, I, I mean, if it was, I don't know. But this match was awesome. Chance, 
We can't wait, Ryan, what we saw. We can't wait for Hollywood. This Rock Roman has to happen now. This year's WrestleMania, you saw the crowd was split, even as Lesnar as the hot face that just returned at SummerSlam. A lot of people ready to cheer him. There, it was split. I heard Let's Go Roman versus Suplex City. About 50-50 down the line. Match was awesome. I love the I did like the finish. Roman gets the win, stays strong. We'll probably get them again. What maybe let's hope Rumble. I got another idea on that, but keep going. And that, yeah, that's and let's we need the rock Roman now. These people listen, Hollywood would be wonderful. I'm not saying it wouldn't, the whole R and everything. But Ryan, this Roman will be a face by that WrestleMania. I'm telling you. He, uh, he might not. I would say they may be done with this by next yes, WrestleMania. That's true. Or that way. But he will be a – he. the crowd is more pro-liking him unless you have an amazing heel, and The Rock is not going to come in as a heel. There's no way. The place is going to erupt when, if The Rock shows up. There's no one else for him to fight. No. He has fought in this entire year, 15 months, whatever it's been, 416 days. He fought his cousin. Then he fought Drew in the one-off at Survivor Series. I can't even remember who the heck he fought at. Uh, did he Kevin fight Owens. Drew again? Kevin Owens for quite a while. Uh, he then TLC fought, and Rumble. He fought yep. Daniel Bryan. Then he fought Edge and Daniel Bryan. Then he fought Cesaro. Then he fought Daniel Bryan. Then he fought Cena. Now he's fighting Brock. Rey he Mysterio. Rey Mysterio. He fought Finn Balor. There is literally no one else for him to fight except Seth Rollins, who just moved to the other show, and he's a heel. There's no one else for him to fight unless you somehow break AJ out of his thing and then have him be a good guy. But uh, it, there's no one else I, I for him to fight. I, yeah. I, he can't have a six-month feud with AJ, though, to get to the next WrestleMania. Well, and it's uh, 18 I, months from today. Bogus! There's no way. No. Not with this I mean, if you're going to do the tribal chief thing, and there's no way, like I said, you could debut The Rock as a heel. So by that point, if Roman has flipped, if the crowd has flipped him, you're screwed. Yeah, because then you would have a face versus face, and who the hell wants to see that? No, no, not at all. My now, what we have been hearing forever is the Rock was going to be at, at Survivor Series. That was going to kick off the field. Let's hope that happens. There has been reports saying that's not going to happen, and that they're going to pay this feud off at Mania. It'll be Lesnar against Roman at Mania which I don't want to wait another six months for that. But no. anyway, we'll see what happens there. If The Rock is not at Survivor Series, hear me out here. It was announced that TLC is off the books. And we knew um, Khan, not Tony Khan, the other Khan, has said that WWE is going to do a New Year's Day pay-per-view. First time ever on New Year's Day. Nick, do you know what the name of that pay-per-view is going to be? So there's no December pay-per-view. Instead, it's going to be January 1st. Is this a sure thing, or are you guessing something it is from a, the past? Well, no, it is a sure thing what it is going to be called. Uh, New Year's Day Revolution. Oh, yeah. it's, it's called. You told me. Uh, something day, with the Usos, or day one. Day one, one is what day this one. pay-per-view is okay. called. What is the Uso shirts? And what is their music? Down day one-ish. Ish. Day yep. one. Day one-ish. Rock hope. Roman at Mania. Who could show up on day one? Maybe their day one person? I don't know. Just throwing that out there. I have not heard that anywhere else. I'm just throwing that out there. That would be incredible. Especially since everybody, the word has been out forever that he may be at Survivor Series. Oh, then he doesn't show up. Well, no one sees this coming. Boom, day one. And, and Ryan, that would be a great where place to end the Lesnar-Roman feud exactly. because you're going up against college football, buddy. You got to throw mm -hmm. something on that card. Boom, yeah, you finished it for me. That is college football that, you know, 
That is the day for college football, all the bowl games and everything. You need something big for your first ever pay-per-view on the, that day. What a better way to have the rematch because there's, again, and, no and December the pay-per-view. Oh, there there's no December pay-per-view. So you have Big E against Roman as Survivor Series. You kick this feud back up for day one, and then The Rock shows up. I like it. I Dude. like it. I might even love it. Yeah, I, I, what, I, 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 if I were a gambling man, that's what I would say is going to happen. Even, you know what? I don't care if you burn the rumble on the rock, too. If Roman says there's no match, let the rock draw 20 freaking eight. There's three guys left. He comes yeah. in, throws them freaking out. You got no choice but to face me now, big guy. Yeah. Well, and, and it's going to be in a stadium again. You need to sell some tickets. I. It could happen. It could I don't, happen. I'm not saying you even have to. He doesn't have to win, there, but I'm just saying anything to get that main event rolling. I didn't even think about that. This day one pay-per-view ends with a face-to-face, and Roman says, no way, I'm not fighting you. Rock doesn't show up again until the Rumble. He surprised wins the Rumble and goes, exactly what you just said. Now there you got to fight WWE. Big fella. There he is, WWE, softball. Right there from us, right up yeah. to you, if you. Well, the only thing I guess would be if they can get the Rock, right? If, if they can get it. I'm sure Vince and Mr. H are listening to this right now. So they, they, they know. Yeah. Now that, right. now that we this, booked the anybody territory put this on their them. Put this on their Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sign us up on there. Hit subscribe while you're at it. <laughs> also, hey, back to this match, though. Um, awesome. My gosh, there were a ton of good spots in this, including we've seen it before, but I don't know if it was the camera angle or what this time. Roman Reigns. Flying through the air, over the top rope, clears the top rope. But, there, by a but, few but it's feet. it's it's cooler when a guy who weighs 150 does it, isn't it? Oh, way better. And yeah. then misses <laughs> usually when they and, and breaks the guy's nose or something because yeah. yeah, he doesn't know how to execute it properly. Yeah, completely misses. Dude, most this guy of the is time. how how big is Roman? What is his weight and measurements? Two sixty five. And he's going. This is what we've been saying. It's not cool. <laughs> When someone else, I mean, what would you rather have? Roman Reigns jumping over the top rope, landing on you, or I, Darby Allen jumping over the top rope? And I could probably catch him. Well, he doesn't but, even go over; he goes uh, through it. So I, I, I mean, that's, there it is. I mean, I just, I'm sorry, I find it more incredible when the bigger guy does this. And I yeah. think you know, guys like Kevin Owens who are doing stuff like that. I mean, it's just, I think it's cooler when the bigger guys do it. Yeah, I, my problem with it is don't act like what they're doing is something amazing. Right. That's when true. half the time they miss when they do it. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, this was a this was a well worked, I should say, well wrestled pay per view from top to bottom. I, I was it, shocked. It, 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 it really this is wrestling, not just high spots and things you know to entertain people. This is wrestling. Yeah. Well, and I saw it going back to Roman real quick. I got one more thing to say. Yeah, go. Dude, the, I saw a ton of people shocked that Roman did that. And again, he doesn't do it all the time. Unlike, <laughs> unlike other people right. that just do it all the time and you get desensitized to it. So he doesn't do it every match, but he has done it quite a bit. And he normally does it in these huge matches. I saw so many people who are like, wait, Roman can fly? Whoa, I can't believe I'm like, okay, so you hate this guy, but you didn't know he did that. That means you're obviously not watching. Right. Stop reading what people are writing online and watch a Roman Reigns match because right. they've all been freaking really good. Yes. All, I, I, all of them. Tell me, the really bad, good. tell me the bad match he's had in the last year, 15 yeah. months. Tell you me. can't. You can't. No. They've all been whatever your rankings are, if you're going to one to 10, they've all been eight and up all of them, all yep. of them. I mean, this guy is just amazing. And that's not even counting the stick work, but no, if you didn't know that, that means you're just hating him because it's the cool thing to do to hate this guy. You obviously aren't watching how freaking good this guy is. Not only on the mic, his character and all that in the ring as well. I mean, it was just great, man. And the F5 de- into the yeah. guillotine. and st- Oh, my gosh. And we're not defending the entire show all the time. There, I mean, WWE no. has been <laughs> terrible. Raw has been unwatchable certain nights, man. It's really bad. 
Roman himself, and again, Roman can only fight who he's available, who's available to fight, right? Yeah. We've said this before. Just a minute ago. He's pulling out the best out of everybody, man. This was a good Brock Lesnar match. We don't always say that. It's the you know? best one the two of them have had, and they've yeah, had a I, lot. I, I thought it was great, and I, there were seconds when I thought maybe Lesnar was going to do it. You and know, we still I, don't I, know I didn't really, who Heyman didn't really is with. Believe it. We right. still don't he know the tug of war in. with the belt. So, Brock tweeted or something. He's going to be there, and he's going to smash Roman the second he gets to SmackDown tomorrow. So they're going to continue this. Um, this obviously is not done, and I'm fine with that. I, I will say I was completely wrong. Everybody was saying, oh, you can have heel Roman face Brock. And I'm like, I'm not interested They've fought so many times, and that's kind of what brought both of them down. The crowd turned on both of them because um, Brock was never around, and they were just sick of Roman. I, I was wrong. This is interesting. This has it been interesting. It, they've done it right, even as simple as last Friday when, he, when all he said was the one line about Heyman, and he got up and left. That was, and that's what you need to do with Brock, right? If he's going to be a face, he can't cut a five-minute promo, it right? It was perfect. It's awesome. This is, and you know, this is what you got to do. Shut up. Stop worrying about who's winning the ratings at what point and write a freaking show. You know, I, I mean, that's, you, the other channel has talent, dude. There's guys there that are good, man. But this is still, I, in my opinion, a better wrestling show. I'm not saying it's good all the time because it ain't. No. It ain't. No. But it's still a wrestling show. And tonight, enjoy this one, folks. This was an awesome pay-per-view. Yeah. If you liked wrestling, which is what I hear all the time, they don't wrestle enough and it's too produced. Again, coming in, I thought this card was better than a WrestleMania. But there were a ton of matches I didn't really care about. This is the first time, and I can't even tell you how long, even the matches I went in, not giving a rip about, I was locked to the screen. I thought this was great. I thought every single match, with the exception of maybe one, had great wrestling, man. It's a rewatchable pay-per-view in yeah. an era of unwatchable shows. Right. It, it, it's, you could, I, could, I could rewatch this pay-per-view tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah, it's really that good. I mean, there might be a point at some point when I do go back and watch this pay-per-view. Yeah. If you so went and watched Mania 37. Which one was again, that? Again, the last one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's that yeah. one, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, have you watched 36 again? I, I haven't watched anything. Have you watched 35 again? again? The last thing I probably watched. How old is WrestleMania? Seven, six, seven, no. Six uh, is 90. <laughs> No, yeah. the last and I've no, watched I've, those a thousand. I'll times. tell you what I've been watching. I've been watching Nitros, man. So from '96. Is Andre really your dad? Man? Well, it's still real to you. Uh, it always will be. Great show, Ryan. I, I was excited to watch it. I, I really had a great afternoon of wrestling. This was fun. Yeah, and, and a lot of people think we're crazy just based on principle that we think this is the best show they've done all year. But <laughs> it was. It it's was. Not, it was great. It really it, was. All right, everybody, please, if you like this, give us a thumbs up, hit subscribe. Uh, if you don't like it, if you think we're crazy, let us know in the comments. We appreciate sure we are. all of it. Yeah, I, well, I'm sure we appreciate all of everything uh, that you can. We just care that you yes. watch and uh, have fun watching wrestling. So uh, thank you next time. Yeah, we'll see you later. Thanks, Nick. Thank you. See you. Pleasure's all yours, Bucky boys. Bucky boys.